Hey everybody, welcome back to the Purple High Guy channel. We decided to do something a little bit new. We've got our first ever ridiculous review on this lovely travel mug. We've got a couple fun tests for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. For our first test, every travel mug I'm gonna buy in the future has to be able to withstand the Diet Coke and Mentos test. If it can't hold the pressure, then it's not my travel mug. So, first things first, we gotta fill it with Diet Coke. The side pour. We don't wanna lose any of our pressure. It's gotta be able to withstand the full test. That was pretty weak. I think I need, I need to work on my pouring skills. It's as full as I wanna get before we uh, drop any Mentos in. Let's take it outside and watch it go. I couldn't come up with a good uh, way of dropping the Mentos in on short notice with a closed lid. So I'm gonna have to do it manually. I might get soaked and uh, yeah, I've got four Mentos. We might only do two for this one though. Let's put it down. We'll leave these in the grass. They're gonna go invisible because of the snow, but that's okay, you know, we'll, we'll find them. Oh boy. Well. I think it's okay. I'm hearing something. So I'm gonna pick these up and still back up a little bit. Well, it handled it fine. I can hear it, it's, it's alive. Oh, there we go, we got some nice bubbling action going on. Why not drop two more in there? And this time, <laughs> well, I think it survives. We might either have some weak Mentos or weak, weak Diet Coke. We've got more cans so we can try again. But the other question is, tastes about as you'd expect. <laughs> it's, it's Diet Coke. <laughs> so, we've drilled holes in our Mentos to make sure that this is the most accurate of a test we can get. Hopefully it makes a difference. If not, I guess this mug gets a pass, at least through this test. We've got many more though. Pop our pressure. What I'm gonna do this time is put the Mentos directly in the lid. You guys ready for this? Ooh, that did something different. <laughs> I think it's gonna live. The Contigo mug appears to be just fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a listen. I hear a little bit. All right, it survived the pressure test. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, it survived. So the trick to the di di Mentos and Diet Coke test is to drill holes in your Mentos. We got something this time, which I'm happy about. So I think based on these results, I'd have to give it a clear pass. Even my extended stress test still passed. I could use this mug based on this test. Test number two. You know, I've always enjoyed kicking footballs as a kid, but you know, I don't have a football with me here today. So I decided, well, let's test this mug and see if it can uh, be a good substitute for kicking a football. Of course, I'd never try this without my steel toed boots. So my foot will be nice and comfortable, but we're gonna see if the mug can survive. It is also filled with warm water. We're gonna see if it uh, develops a leak from a couple kicks. Here we go. Gotta get the nice launch trajectory in. All right, here we go. <laughs> We didn't get much height. It looks like it's not leaking yet. It also failed, so we got a nice clear dent in it. So we gotta make sure it's symmetrical. We don't wanna leave it like that, so we're gonna kick the other side. But unfortunately, it does not work as a football, at least for kicking. We'll test throwing after we do that. Now for round two, we gotta make it equivalent. It's gotta be the same on either side. It is not leaking though. Here we go. <laughs> well, we did good. It's not quite the same, but it isn't leaking yet. It's putting up with a lot. We got a couple dents in it, but I'd say it's still a fail. It didn't kick very well, and clearly I put enough pressure into it. <laughs> I didn't want to break my foot, but uh, we got to throw it now. Let's see if it survives this one. Got to get our true form, get our arm warmed up a little bit. Beautiful form. I think it survived. We're only going to throw it once because it's got to it's gotta survive some other tests. We, we got to run it through the rest of the ringer. It's not leaking. And if it's not leaking, that means we gotta throw it again. We gave it two kicks. It could survive two throws, right? <laughs> well, it rolled a ways, and now my hands are cold. <laughs> I still don't see any leaking. Okay, it passed the leak test. Everything we've done so far has not developed a leak. So I'd say it passed there, but it still does not work as well for a football. I couldn't get my spiral. It's because it doesn't have the splines in it. So we want to do a drop test now. We got to make sure it survives. Falling straight on its head on some various different types of materials. Let's go. Oh, it survived the pillow test. I wasn't expecting that. All right, 
On to the next one. <laughs> oh. Oh. We're good! Now we gotta go to the car test. <laughs> it's too good! <sighs> I could really go for uh, a cooked cutie right now. If only I had a fire to... If only I had a... Hold on a second. If only I had a fire to test that out on. I've got a lighter. I've got this. Oh no. <sighs> That's better. It's more like what I needed. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Man, I, I just... I need it to be ventilated. <laughs> it's ventilated. We only got one hole, because it took so long. <laughs> this thing is resilient. It passed my drill test. We had to do so much. Okay, that's it, it passed that test. The unintentional test, it passed. This thing fought like a lock or something. Never even drilled a lock, but God, I, I don't ever want to. <laughs> After all of that, it goes out again. <laughs> so at this point, it might be failing this test because <laughs> it won't stay lit. <laughs> so in an emergency, if you need a stove, you will not have the tools with you to do it. <laughs> it failed the cooking <laughs> test. I'm sorry, I gave you every chance, but I think I'll just have to stick to cooking it with the lighter. I'm sorry, Mug, you weren't good enough. See, look, I get a nice char from the lighter. It smells like cooked cutie to me, oh, my favorite. Now we gotta go on to the next test. So, failed my cutie test. So now we gotta repair the damage we did to get it to cook my cutie, which it didn't even do. Now we're gonna see, like anything, can we fix it with hot glue and duct tape? Now we're gonna put water in it. Hot glue. Dumb hot glue! I just wanted you to be, to be dry already. All right, let's go ahead and tape it up, and then we'll let that dry as we go stand on it. <laughs> Man, this duct tape didn't want to give me a good, uh, Good, nice line. All right, so we're set up to be prepared for the repair test. Let's go test the weight test. Oh, man, I can't reach that one spot on the tree. I'm really tall and I still can't reach it. What am I gonna do? Wait a minute. Huh. No, come back! Oh, there we go. I, I did it! I didn't bring my balance beam. Ah! Well, got a bit flatter. I don't think our little fit anymore. Let's just try a stomp test to see how it does. Still looks like it's Still survived. Like it's survived. Mm -hmm. I'd say I'd give it a pass. I think our testing needs a little work. It's time for the last test. Could it be fixed with hot glue and duct tape? Let's find out. Now, can you kick it? I think we're good. But I think you're right, cameraman. I think we do need to kick it. Last hurrah. <laughs> Football, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, this product overall passed our ridiculous review. It's not really usable anymore, but it did pass. So we're gonna start with the Mentos and Diet Coke test, which it passed with solid nine out of 10. Didn't give me the, uh, you know, Mentos and Diet Coke reaction I wanted, but I'm, I'm blaming the one point on it. The second test, we did the lovely football test. For the kicking part, definitely failed. I don't want my footballs to dent. That's not cool, man. But for the throwing part, it did its job. I didn't see any new dents, didn't drop any water. So I'd give it a solid seven out of 10. Give it, give it some grace points. <laughs> For the fire test, it failed outright. If you need it in an emergency situation, don't use it. One out of 10, totally failed. Couldn't cook my cutie. Then we had our lovely standing test. I think it passed. We'll give it a seven out of 10 because it did nice and so I can't put the lid on it anymore. I can't take it to work. The repair test though, 10 out of 10. Hot glue and duct tape fixes all your problems. So you guys, I think overall the mug passed. It passed like all but one of our tests. And with that, this has been a Purple Hat Guy ridiculous review. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe to see more of these ridiculous reviews. We've been out here all day in the cold, so hopefully you guys really enjoyed this. Yeah, we will see you in the next one.
<laughs> oh god.